welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great week, folks. Kicking into Labor Day weekend. There we go. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not the love that will make you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make a difference. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 170. We get NASDAQ up 94. s and is up 22. Gold, gold contract up $8.10, traded at 1948 an ounce. We have silver up four cents, twenty-four dollars sixty-two cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up thirty-one cents, eighty dollars fourteen cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a ten-year note up seven ticks, trading one hundred nine twenty-one. The thirty-year up nine ticks at one twenty oh one. And King dollar, King dollar is down fifteen ticks, trading one hundred four zero six two. The euro out here at one hundred eight. The yen's at one forty-six, and the British pound is at one twenty-six to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we pull the spy up first. What we have out here is that on Friday, folks, you know, you came down, you didn't break the swing, you rejected lower price at the highs of the lows, and bottom line, that's saying, guess what? Higher price is coming at us. So we're at four forty two. And what's game here still is this 446.27. The 446.27, where I'm getting that bar from, by the way, folks, okay? And we'll see how it comes into it. That's the last time we were, we were really coming down with some big volume. Not with some big volume, meaning there's big volume at, at the bottom that already rejected that. So we had come off the highs. We had a couple of big volume days there. And right there is basically, is, is that, that's ice. That's what that is, okay? You know, we almost had hit it when we went up on uh, Friday. We hit 445.22. Uh, bottom line, it's going to get deviant and get up in, into that area. The Qs. We take a look at the Qs. Same type of setup inside the Qs. The Qs had come down. You know, bottom line, rejected lower price. We got down, you know, bottom line, get down to the price point of that uh, 358.50. You, the low there was at 354. The high was at 359. So I rejected that area. And it looks to me like the Qs can actually get up into this uh, 373, 13 area. That's how it's set up. And we, we did hit that 372, 74 on, on uh, Thursday. You know, I might take a So we're going right back up to that area because that's ice also. And we'll see how we get there. Now, you got to remember, we're coming into. Labor Day weekend. So we're also coming into window dressing, you know. Notes and bonds. But I think we got a couple big turns in the marketplace, folks. And, and one of them is the note and bond market. So what you have with the note and bond market is this. We, let's, let's put a much longer term here because you will see just the type of devastation on the way down it was. Let's see if I put a generic one. Okay, cool. Okay, so. I'm going to put a generic one up, meaning that it just ties the contracts together. Put this up for a full year. And you can see that the 10-year, we went down from 117. And we hit 108. Now, when we take a look at this, I'm going to put this on a two-year weekly now. Flip this around. And on a two-year weekly, what you can see, the low that was established, this goes back to uh, 2022, was 108.26. Well, we hit 108.28. I think that's it. That's, that's my point. The re and the reason I'm saying that is that what, what you had, if we take, now, now let's go to the actual bond. If we take a look at the bond, what you're going to see the note, rather. I'll just do the note, though, on a daily basis. What you're going to see as we got down here, you had a monster contraction with volume. Then you came off those lows, and you had a nice sign of strength. You came back into that sign of strength, and you didn't get to the low of the sign of strength. What it also did is that when you take a look at it on a technical basis, 
it broke the downtrend. Now, the only downtrend that it actually broke here is from the 111.29. You know, so, you know, the type of beating that this took is going to be step by step. But that's telling me that this 10-year note wants to go to this 111.29. Now, you put that together with the aspect of how many rate hikes we've had, what Powell has to say about the aspect of inflation, and they're going to be digital, diligent, and there's no doubt about that, um, you know, at Jackson Hole. And then on top of that, I keep an, a close eye, folks, on transportation cost, you know, from Shanghai to Tampa. And let me tell you, this, this, so this is the number. This is the factual number. At the peak, a container from Shanghai to Tampa was 14500 Do you know what they are right now? Just take a guess. And now this is a spot rate, 3000 bucks. A spot rate means that anyone can call up and you're gonna get a 3000 quote. You can imagine what Walmart, what Amazon, what all these people are, they're way down there. Who knows, I have no clue, but I can tell you something. You can see that the amount of destruction in price is absolutely dramatic. So my take is that we're, we reverse this whole deal Rates, higher rates are over, and then let's go to the U.S. dollar. We take a look at the dollar, and what's so intriguing about the dollar is this. The dollar's been on a run. There's no two ways about that. Now, that's on the daily, and the dollar's been trying to get into this swing point from, you know, May of 2021. That swing point is 104.699. Now, we made it to 104.447. That being said, now watch this. When you actually put this on a larger scale, you can see that we've been in a consolidation. You know, this consolidation has been out here for quite some time. You know, we spiked it. And the lower part of this consolidation, you know, bottom line is down there at the 99.57. You know, so when we take a look at this, that's quite, that's quite a consolidation. And my take is that it's failed at these higher prices. If they failed at the higher prices, lower prices are coming at us. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now trading up 162. NASDAQ's up 90. S&P's up 21. We'll come right back.